Swearing on YouTube is a risky business, and it's a business where the exact rules on what you can and cannot say without getting demonetized has pretty much been unclear until now. On the Creator Inside channel, YouTube has laid out the exact rules on what profanity you can use on YouTube. And I'm gonna tell you everything you need to know right now on IO. What is happening, good people of YouTube? This is IO, where we talk about what's happening on the internet, and that includes this platform we love called YouTube. I'm Charlotte Dobre. Why don't you smash that subscribe for daily news updates that are actually relevant? to you and follow us on social media. Our handles are posted in the description. All right guys, I'm gonna be real with you for just a second. On this channel, even though you might not know it because you don't see our back end, we have a lot of issues with demonetization. It is the worst. Those yellow dollar signs are the bane of my existence. Sometimes we do a topic and we know for sure it will result in demonetization, but we do it anyway because it might be worth it for the views and it could be an important topic. But oftentimes we'll do a topic that we believe is completely advertiser friendly and then we upload it and then all of a sudden it's got this yellow dollar sign next to it and we have no idea what caused the topic to become demonetized. I'll give you an example, okay? So the video we did last week, Scary Urban Legend about the Boogeyman turns out to be true, it got demonetized. But another video we did, Scary Urban Legend about the Bunny Man turns out to be true, similar topic, almost the same title, didn't get demonetized. It's like, why? Why? When this happens, sometimes you can troubleshoot in the back end, you could change certain words in the title, take out some tags, but 90% of the time the problem is the thumbnail. YouTube's AI will scan a thumbnail and be like, ah, that's blood! And it's not blood, but it thinks it's blood and, you know, it's just the luck of the draw. The problem is YouTube gets it wrong a lot of the time, even when we request a video for manual review. This is a huge issue for creators, of course. We spend a lot of time and we put a lot of thought into our content. We'll think of a topic and literally the first thought in our heads is, can this be monetized? Well, for the first time ever, YouTube has been relatively, though not completely, transparent on what causes a video to become demonetized. <laughs> According to YouTube, there are three main things that will affect your monetization status. The video's title, the thumbnail image, and how often profane language is used at the beginning of the video, as in within the first 30 seconds. These rules are not set in stone. They might change over time. But I actually didn't even consider that profanity might have been an issue. So here are some examples of profanity that you can use in a video. Hell, shoot, dang, damn. You can say those words as often as you want throughout the whole video without worrying about getting demonetized. Well, heck, I'm just gonna start saying those words unnecessarily now. So what about actual swear words though? The thing is, and this is something that I didn't know, you can actually say words like shit. I love a good shit. Occasionally, you can use words like the F word without getting demonetized, but like not repeatedly within the first 30 seconds of the video. You should also make sure profane words are not included in your thumbnail or your title. And words you can't say without getting demonetized? Moderate and strong profanity. I mean, like, I feel like you can kind of guess. I'm kind of worried about saying the exact words for obvious reasons. But the truth is, it's up to the advertiser. Sometimes an advertiser will be totally okay with profanity, and sometimes they won't. It's probably just best to stay away from profanity altogether. And also, I know a lot of school teachers show I.O. in their classes as a way to make current events fun, so we usually stay away from profanity when we can. And lastly, the words that shall not be said, ever. You absolutely can't use racial slurs, derogatory content, or mean or hateful content directed at an individual or specific group of people. It should also be noted that bleeping will not save your racial slurs. Of course, there are certain situations where maybe it might be okay, comedy, parodies, etc. when you're referring to someone else who said it. But at the same time, to be safe, it's probably better to avoid using this kind of language entirely, even if it falls in a gray area of context. Anyways guys, that doesn't answer all our questions about demonetization, but I hope that was helpful. I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comment replies from our recent blooper reel. If you haven't seen that, make sure you check it out. It's clickable on the screen right now. Uniquely Evil said, LOL, for some reason I didn't think I'd laugh at this, but I was dying. You're welcome. The Deshaun Allen said, I'm black. We naturally look serious all the time, so this is no sweat. Well done. I still think you giggled though. Like, I mean, I can't see you giggle cause like you're behind a computer screen, but I feel like you giggled a little bit. Maybe like a smile. Mega Pelodi said, words that mess up Charlotte sometimes. Anything with a C or an S. Here, shattering. Crazy Bro said, be honest. Do you have like markers on the floor for where you stand? Cause you stand in the center every time. A marker on the floor is called a mark, and we actually don't have a mark on the new set. We stand in the center of the stage because that's where the lighting is best. Eh? 
The editor can move us to the side if they want to, but I feel like it's generally best to be in the center. Emotional said, wow, Charlotte, please do more. I did not know you messed up that often. I do mess up, of course I do. I'm human, just like anybody that's human. I film three videos a day, sometimes more, and we actually don't practice our script before we film, so we just get up and do it. Obviously we mess up. And that's okay. The video is over, thank you for watching. If you wanna keep watching, we put together a playlist for you that's right over here. And obviously, if you enjoyed your time here, or maybe if you learned something, why don't you hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and notification bell so I can see you in the next IO video.